can learn a lot about mindfulness from the animal world, because animals are naturally mindful creatures. Check it out. Here we have Billy the buffalo, enjoying a bit of grass, sipping some water, and just taking in his surroundings. If we could see his thoughts, they'd probably look something like this. Sure is a beauty out here. Boy, this grass is good. The dew is lovely this morning. Mmm. Most animals are mindful creatures. They spend a majority of their time purposefully in the present moment. Of course, when danger presents itself, animals share an instinct with humans known as fight-or-flight response. This is a primitive automatic response that prepares the body to fight or flee from a perceived threat. Chemicals automatically pump into Billy's body, and he's able to run away quickly. That was a close one. What do you think he's thinking now? Ooh, that was too close for comfort. What if that lion ate me? No more grass for Billy. W what if he comes back and I can't get away this time? Maybe I shouldn't graze here anymore. Oh, what if he finds my family? This is all too much to handle. I I'm stressed. Uh, probably not. Billy's thoughts look more like this. Oh, look, some more grass. Mmm, lovely. You might think this makes Billy a very silly buffalo, but it doesn't. Billy doesn't ponder the future, because, well, that's not really what animals do. They would rather spend mindful time in the present. In fact, did you know that humans are the only known creatures on Earth who spend time thinking about the future? Now, thinking about the future has benefits. Billy would not be able to plan for the next attack, for example. But here's the thing. Research shows too much time thinking about the future can lead one to dwell on bad things which might happen and cause undue worry. And here's the real kicker. Not only are humans the only species to think about the future, they are also the ones capable of triggering a fight-or-flight response when there is no immediate danger. That's right. You can be sitting peacefully at home, and one simple worried thought about the future can throw your entire body into a chemically induced response built for stressful situations. Now, the goal of mindfulness training is not to turn us into animals that do not ponder the future. Practicing mindfulness instead provides a way to think about the future in a calm, logical manner, and more time to genuinely enjoy the present. Oh, that sounds real good, science guy. Now that would definitely not happen. Um, you can't sit there. Oops. Sorry.